Hey guys, it's Danny, and today we have something pretty interesting. Right now this just looks like blue envelopes, but this is supposed to be um, a kit to do envelopes, I guess, like to, to help you write on them better. I'm not really sure. We're gonna open it up and see. So, let's see. Is it a big blue envelope? Yeah, here we go. This is what I was expecting. There are these little, um, like templates. And there's a bunch of different ones. Can you see that? There's different numbers of openings, depending on how many lines you have to write. And then there's even a big one, and it has up here too for the return address. So these are super cute. Like you can use this one on this. You can go like this, and then that way. Well, this seems a bit weird because you'd probably want to move this down. But you could put this up here and then write your your address, and it'd be straight. And then you can move this down and then put your sending address there, and it'd be straight. And everything's evenly spaced and the same size. These are really cute. I like this, these a lot and I'm excited to use them. There's not much difference in them. Just like a little bit. But that's okay. Um, I thought these would be really fun to use to try to get better at like spacing my lines whenever I'm writing. So I'm excited to try these out. These are available on Amazon. The link will be in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye! You know what? Actually, I'll put in a video of trying to use these. So go watch that and then bye! All right, so here we are with our envelope address things. And we're gonna test them out and see how easy they are to use. We will just use this little pen here. It's just a um, regular pen tip there. And we will see how easy it is to write in this box. Am I supposed to fill up the whole box? Seems really big. I am noticing that this thin um, piece between it, that top one did move whenever I hit it. This one does too. So it does move a little bit. I think you're supposed to fill up the whole thing. That seems a bit ridiculous. I don't know. Let's... I don't know. I know my alphabet. Alright, so it does make your stuff in lines. Let's try one of these ones that has thinner spaces. I think this one might be better. And let's see if a paper mate flare works because that's what I usually write with. Oh, can you even see that? There wasn't any instructions, so I'm not really sure if I'm using these right or what. It is hard to make your letters go the whole way to the top and bottom without making the rounded ones look weird. But like I said, I'm not sure if I'm using these right or not because there wasn't any instructions.
So there's that one. Um, I'm not really sure. Like I said, I'm not sure I'm using these right, but they do make your text straight. So if that's important to you, these would be nice for that. It also helps line it up right, you know. So like all these ones, if I didn't move it, it would be the same. Which could be helpful, because I know I'm drawing underneath it, so it's not going to work. But I know some people will use like a paper and write, and then this would make it so that it would be spaced out evenly. So that might be nice. I don't know. It does make them straight if you hold it straight, so that's nice. I'll leave the link in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.